YouTube, it's your boy Dana SSG, and today we got One Piece uh, News Week 2, and this is the second episode of my ongoing series now, so yeah, just keep tuning in, we're going to keep bringing you guys some One Piece news, today we got some One Piece collaborations, uh, we have some One Piece sales, One Piece coming in number 2, which is a rare occurrence, um, we got some 1004 chapter spoilers, and um, we got some older trans relations, and those are always fun, so yeah, just uh, stay tuned, and I'll have it timestamped in the description. Also, I do have a Blue Yeti and a Logitech Pro webcam coming in, so be on the lookout for like some live chapter live chapter reactions and some anime episode reactions. So yeah, um, starting off, we have One Piece X ribbon collaboration, Mr. Two Bond Clay's friendship chocolate matching test. Now, unfortunately, there are no um, translations out for this game at the time. If there were, I would play it and uh, match up all the characters, but there just isn't, so that's unfortunate. But yeah, um, on the right, I think it's probably like some type of fact about the character or a quote from the character and I guess you just match it with the character on the left <clears throat> then right here we have One Piece X Ribbon Heroine illustration collaboration and it's just um, a bunch of heroines from One Piece being drawn by different uh, mangakas you have Nami, Nico Robin, Bo Hancock, Shirohoshi, so on and so on and now um, I don't want to butcher any of their names but uh, as you can see here, these are all the heroines drawn by different mangakas. Now, for these mangakas, it's pretty cool because it's probably the biggest thing of their career. Uh, One Piece is obviously way better and has a lot more sales than their mangaka or their mangas. I'm sorry. And um, to put it in basketball terms, this is like Buddy Hield one on one in Jordan, prime Michael Jordan for a million dollars. It would be the biggest thing he'd ever done. He's ever done in his life. And uh, yeah. Shout out to those mangaka for getting to collab with Oda. Next, if we scroll down a little more, we got a One Piece X Gintama collaboration. As you can see here, a bunch of different One Piece characters being drawn <laughs> as Gintama characters, which is on um, pretty cool. Best one being Luffy and Zoro, in my opinion. Then we have some more One Piece X ribbon collaborations. We get to see a one-on-one -on -one drawing of Nami. <clears throat> And then we get a One Piece like volume cover style, which is uh, pretty funny. I guess all the straw hats as women. And then that wraps it up for that. Next, we have One Piece has reached 480 million copies in circulation worldwide, which is flipping crazy. <clears throat> um, this is the volume that did it. Beautiful volume cover. You got Luffy, got Yamato. Beautiful volume cover. I'm a copy. To be honest, I promise I'm copying now. But yeah, it's crazy that this 480 million chapters, or 480 million copies sold worldwide, came in second, and it didn't even come in second to any manga. That's because One Piece, you know, it's it's killing every manga. It didn't come in second to a manga, and came in second to a um a Demon Slayer fan book. Them Kanetsu know why. Losers, their fans, they're fiending. Their manga ended. They haven't had any new content. And I guess this book came out. Uh, I guess it's like a guidebook or something like that. And it sold millions <laughs> in first week. So, um, yes, yeah, small L for One Piece. Still, uh, no manga is competing with it. So, yeah. Uh, next, we got uh, an older quote from Weekly Shonen Jump, issue number nine. Uh, he said, there's a lot of things going on to celebrate Chapter 1000. Go to One Piece and check out the Chapter 1000 website. And um, yeah, I have a video on that, which you guys can check out on my channel. But you can pretty much just vote on the the new character poll there. Play with a Luffy AR and some other stuff like that. Um, this is Ichiro Oda's Bo Hancock and Monkey D. Luffy illustration for One Piece Magazine Volume 11. <laughs> it's a pretty cool illustration. You got uh, Hancock is in there. <laughs> Lightning King Luffy. Luffy, you know, he's rubber. Just, I guess she's making him shine in a way. <laughs> pretty cool illustration. But yeah, we got a translation. Shout out Sandman to follow up this illustration. Uh... Oda made an amazing illustration about what if Hancock ate Gorgo or Devil Fruit. I can't post a pic here. The pic is here. Yep. And she 
Oh, the, oh, he says Hancock is an undefeatable queen now, which might be a hint to um her and what's his name? her and Kobe's fight. Undefeatable queen right now. You feel me? So just be on the lookout for that. Nobody comes close to her because of her sh too strong thunder ability. One day, someone named Luffy appears in front of her. Thus, Hancock falls in love with him, same as the manga, which is a kind of twist of fate. Luffy doesn't like women, so that's why she fell in love with Luffy, because every man likes her. And then, now Luffy can't take damage to her, and makes her fall in love, because she damages everybody with her lightning. I like that. It's pretty cool. But yeah, that ties it up for that quote and pertains to that picture. So we'll go ahead and finish out more of what Oda said. Zoro, I don't need any trivial techniques with my swords. I just want to master the method to bring out 100% of my strength. I'll get stronger in my own style. Oda's comment about Zoro and his sketchbook. Yeah. My small summary of spinoff manga episode of Ace Chapter 2 drawn by Boichi. Bro, Boichi drawing One Piece is just freaking epic. He gives just a whole different spin on it. Uh, I'll look up s some of the... Um, let me see. Boichi One Piece. Look, look at, look at some of these images. Like, just great stuff. Super great. Look at Whitebeard. Being an old Chad. Like, just great stuff. It's just different, different take on One Piece, I guess. But yeah, uh, the summary of this chapter: Ace used conquer color of conqueror's hockey against Hamon and Fishman Island, which is crazy. Every time I uh, we hear about Ace using conqueror's hockey, it just blows my mind because it's such a it's my favorite uh, hockey ability in One Piece. So I just love seeing people use it. Ace met Shanks after he crushed five famous bandits. I wonder, I wonder who those bandits could be in the New World at that. New World bandits, they gotta be pretty tough, so I wonder who they were. Maybe we'll be seeing them in the future. Shanks made an assumption that Roger was Ace's father, but Ace said he didn't want to talk about Roger, which probably made, which probably confirmed in Shanks' head, oh yeah, this is Roger's son. Ace also implied that he knew Shanks had been one of Roger's crewmates. That's pretty interesting. I wonder how Shanks would have known, that, I mean, how Ace would have known that Shanks was on Roger's crew. Because when the time, when Ace went to see Shanks, he was on Whitebeard's crew. So I guess Whitebeard could have told him. Jinbei was surprised that his army in hockey was not enough to defend himself from Ace's fire. Um, That to me makes sense because it is fire. And basic color of arms protects a lot of, against a lot of stuff. But if like... If the offensive potency of the attack is like too high, it's gonna hurt the color of arms. So I guess Ace just went crazy. Uh, Ace tells Deuce before his fight against Whitebeard, I'll gladly bet my life if only I can obtain what I want. I won't regret even if I die if I can find a reason to live. And that ended up being the reason why Ace died with a smile on his face because he realized that he had a reason to live, and it was his family. It was Pops, so OG, it was Luffy, so on and so on. But yeah, that pretty much ties up the translations for that. Uh, oh, my fault, my fault. We have some more translations here. We got the spinoff of episode of Perno uh, Yeah, episode Perona in One Piece Magazine 11. Zero and Perona found a barrel on the sea with the help from human drills near Kuragana Island. In the barrel, three bottles of red wine are found. Piranha complains she prefers cocoa to wine. Zoro is not glad as well since Miyak pro prohibited him from drinking alcohol unless he learns hockey. Zoro decides that's crazy. So that's what forced Zoro to learn hockey. He couldn't drink. That's pretty cool. Zoro decides to bring them to Mihawk, who loves wine. Mihawk is always drinking wine at that castle. Uh, side note. Perona drinks the wine before bringing it to Mihawk. She feels comfortable, not only because of the taste being nice, but also because of someone like Zoro being on the same table. If you don't know, Perona has a huge crush on Zoro and Mihawk. Getting a bit drunken, she starts singing with her back on the floor. 
Zoro cuts a cockroach in half to help Perona. Perona decides to fight Mihawk to bring back the tasty wine. But Zoro offers her that he will fight him instead. Mihawk tells Zoro not to destroy his furniture during the fight. Zoro rushes towards him with desperate face, but Mihawk just enjoys the fight. His room is completely messed up due to the fight. Perona quietly approaches to steal the wine, but Mihawk notices her while fighting Zoro. Zoro accidentally breaks the wine bottle after getting hit by negative hollow that was supposed to be aimed at Mihawk. Only a small amount of wine remains in the bottle. All three of them stop fighting and complain with each other. Mihawk cuts fruit to make Perona sangria. Perona wonders, Mihawk and Zoro are just housemates. They are not my comrades at all, but it's not that they are random persons for me. It's not like they are random persons for me, I guess he was trying to write. I guess she feels like a kind of kinship with them, a kind of family. Zoro and Mihawk and Perona raise their glasses. Zoro carbonated water. Mihawk red wine. Perona sangria. Human drills talk about Mihawk and Perona. Although only some months are left before Zoro and Perona leave Kuragana Island, but Mihawk secretly planted a Kakura tree for Perona, who loves Coco. Human trees. Human drills are wondering why Mihawk doesn't tell her about why Mihawk doesn't tell her about it. Maybe because he is a quiet guy. Oh, so dang, that's crazy. I wonder who she's gonna end up with. It's either gonna be Mihawk or Zoro. Because if Mihawk is doing stuff like this, planting trees for her, he's simping low key. He's simping for her. That's cute. All right, on to the next tidbit of information, which isn't really news, but I've seen this on the subreddit. And it could be some hints to where CP0 is from. As you can see here, this guy has long, janky arms. Let me just zoom in. You can see his long, janky arms. You see Big Mom. You see him here with the long, janky arms. And then in CP0, you see a guy right here with long, janky arms. Pretty similar. Then you also see back then a guy with a mask like this. And then you see the same guy over here. Feel me? Yeah, I just I just thought it was interesting. Then this guy further gave some thoughts. That's amazing. Makes sense though, since Mother Caramel was a child trafficker. CP0 would want loyal loyal agents. Um, sorry, I got a notification. Indoctrinated from childhood. But yeah, it makes sense because they want loyal uh. Loyal agents that had no history, no background, that would just come fight for them. But yeah, lastly, we got some um, chapter spoilers for 1004. The chapter of the title is called Kibidango, which is probably how the Alliance will end up winning the war. But I got a vid coming on that. I got a vid coming out about that, so be on the lookout for that. The chapter begins with headliner speed. Tama had traveled to Onigashima on speed ship, which I guess is the um, which I guess is the reveal of how she got to Onigashima. It seems that the headlines and the gifters are eating dangos to become allies. Frankie versus Sasaki. Nami uses the, the thunderbolt or thunder lance tempo against Ot. I wonder how much damage that does, if any, to Ot. Usopp shoots dangos at enemies. Black Maria says something about Nico Robin to Sanji. Uh, Bo Bao Hong finds the red scabbards with her ability. King orders Black Maria to end someone's life. It seems that in the area where the red scabbards are, there are not just nine people, there are ten, according to Bao Hong. The tenth person is helping them. I wonder who that tenth person is. If it's just one person, I, I got money on Okoji. I think Okoji is going to be showing up to Wano soon. And you heard it here first. And I guess this is the sketch of uh, Black Maria dealing with Lanji. But yeah, um, the, the most hurtful thing about this chapter is right here, break next week. And the, the saddest part about that is there's a break coming up and we didn't even get to see any of what's happening on the roof. Like I said last uh, last chapter review, Oda is going to be blue balling with this freaking silhouette of Kaido Dragon Form Hybrid. So, the wait begins, ladies and gentlemen. But anyways, I'll see you guys in week three. Dan SSG out.
subscribe and like if you like the content. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, I'm out though.